That's right. interesting. Yeah? What's interesting? It looks like oh, it's all sticking together. Mm hmm And there's like little tiny cracks of where they're connected. I don't know. It's like a worm. Really? Is that what you think? Yeah. It's interesting. It's good to know where your meat comes from, right? Yeah. What do you think? I think we're going to have to use a few more bags for that. Yeah? Maybe. A How many do we have so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight pounds? Eight pounds of venison. Put four pounds in there. Of this? Yep, in the bowl. Of this or this? Put four pounds of that. Okay, one second. Do you think that's a lot? Yeah. I think <laughs> it's getting under my nails. <laughs> and is that a bad thing? It's weird. <laughs> How much you got so far? Two pounds. Two pounds? Mm. <laughs> it's fun. It's uh, fun? How much you got now? Two. And how many ounces? Two point fifteen point five. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, air. It's because you it's pushed it too hard. That's okay. Okay. Now it's four. So today we are making some ground venison jerky. We're going to be using a jerky gun over here, little one. We got a backwoods sweet and hot seasoning mix that we're using. The directions say to take five ounces of water, pour both the cure and the seasoning mix into the water. that. So we got our seasoning there. We're going to add some garlic salts here. And then I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of paprika. I like that because it gives it a nice and we're gonna take that seasoning mix. And we have a spatula here. So we make sure we get all this cure and seasoning scraped out. And then just turn that over, mix it in well. When you're doing a ground, you don't need to let it set in the refrigerator and marinade, but sometimes I do just to give it extra flavor. It's totally up to you. Once you've got it mixed with getting all the seasonings in there, take it, mix it with your hands to get all those air pockets that come with grinding. We did a double grind on this. Gives it a nice smoother texture. keys is to use the right amount of water that they suggest. That way you get this meat getting that bro broken down consistency and you want to make a nice ball. Basically the same as when you're making sausage. 
once you get that tackiness all around and it's all well mixed, you can get ready to start making the jerky. I was not a fan of how faint our jerky mix was smelling. Usually it's a lot more aromatic. You can get a good whiff. So what I did was I added about a quarter of a cup of Asian Zing sauce. It's a Buffalo Wild Wings Asian Zing. You can get that at Walmart or directly from Buffalo Wild Wings. If you guys are doing this in a dehydrator, then you can just do that on your dehydrator trays. We're doing this in the oven today, so we're just using these oven racks. So we got the jerky in the oven here. We got a couple of drip pans below. Uh, we're doing the oven on 225 degrees. Manufacturer's instructions are 200 degrees for an hour and 15 minutes per side. So we'll test it after about probably an hour and 15 minutes, something like that. And we always do it based on how we like the texture. We like it to rip a little bit. So we'll come back in a little bit and see how it is. One other important thing when you are using an oven, um, leave a little bit of a gap so that the humidity and the evaporation can take place. When we test the jerky, we like to bend it, make sure it's flexible, see that it rips a little bit, and have that nice shredded appearance so that you can get a nice bite, just like when you get jerky in a store. Now that the jerky is done to the texture that we like, we're gonna cut it into bite-sized pieces. You can use a knife from the cutting board like we're doing here, or you could also use a kitchen shears, which might be a little bit easier. And we're cutting them into about one inch size pieces. You could do a little bit larger if you'd like, or you could even do a full size jerky stick. I saw this method on the Bearded Butcher's on YouTube and I liked it so I thought it would be a very user friendly portable way to take jerky and go through it a little bit slower as well. Here I'm making the bags that we're using to package these snack size jerky. Mm -hmm. I just took an eight inch roll, cut the music. bag in half. So it's about a four by four inch bag that I'm just sealing top and bottom. Well, there you have it. A ready to go and package of jerky. We did two sizes. We did one ounce and two ounces. Um, most packages that you find the jerky at the store are somewhere between three to six ounces. So you could do larger bags if you would like. You can throw these in the freezer and grab them out as you need. Throw them in the lunch box or something. But we just find this to be a very convenient method for, that you can do. 
uh, easy for the kids and the family. And as you can see, when you take it all out, two ounces of jerky, that's quite a bit. Well, we like, uh, we like the flavor of this. The texture is just perfect. This is just a great product. So if you guys like the video and you like the jerky, let us know if you tried it. If it's a video that you like, we'd appreciate if you guys would subscribe, like the video. And if you know anybody you think would enjoy it, share it. Thanks again for your time, and thanks for watching Wild Creek Outdoors.